another important point about these rings is they have a top and a bottom so you can't just put them on the piston uh, in any orientation they are orientation specific uh, many of the rings will have either a dot or some kind of a mark uh, indicating which side is the top and which side is the bottom uh, this particular set has that actually has the whole word written out right here I don't know if you can see it but it's written right here and it says top the reason for that is these are the compression rings and the compression rings uh, also scrape the oil down um, off of the cylinder walls as the piston goes back down after being oiled by the oil coming from the oil pump and the oil rings at the bottom of the, uh, the, the piston rings oils the cylinder to lubricate it this uh, ring scrapes that oil down to keep um, oil from actually being excess amount of oil being in the combustion chamber and burning oil so you do need to make sure the orientation of these rings is correct when you install them um, later I'll show you uh, how to install the rings on the piston and I will also uh, show you how to clock them and it's very simple I've seen a lot of different examples of how it's done on YouTube and I think I have a simpler, easier to understand way you know, than the 180 degree or 20, 120 degrees and all these degrees. There's a simple way, you just turn your piston over, put an X on it and line up the, the four different rings with the ends of the X's. But anyway, I'll show you all that after I finish sizing this ring, but I wanted to make sure that I didn't forget to mention that the rings are orientation specific and there is a top and a bottom to the rings.